Good day YouTube, what MJ here and welcome back. All right, Monday morning here, uh, well, almost Monday lunchtime here, Australia. It's obviously sort of Sunday night stateside time. And we can see, look, there's been a bit of a bounce back already. So uh, pretty nice now. <laughs> you know, is it going to hold? You know, was the, the weekend sell-off already sort of been and gone? That's what we're all kind of hoping for. But look, we'll have to wait and see. But again, generally, you know, Bitcoin, it's still just in that ranging pattern. Anywhere between sort of 40,000, it'll get to almost there, 39,000. So where it's been, and then it gets down to around about sort of, you know, 34,000 of late. But it has been down as low as sort of 20 you know, 30-ish thousand dollars, thereabouts, so ranging. And again, altcoins are sort of fluctuating up and down, but generally they're just getting hit. I mean, you just look at the seven-day charts and, you know, nearly everything is down. Not quite everything, but a lot of things are. All right, so today we're going to focus on something a little bit different. So I know a lot of people are panicking in the market at the moment. And so particularly if you bought like, you know, let's say you bought about a month or two ago at the peak high and now you're currently you know, feeling really unhappy in the space. And let's say you haven't sold at the moment and you're wondering what you should do. That's what we're going to have a look at. Now, I must say up front, I'm not offering you financial advice. I can't do that. I'm not a financial advisor in any way, shape or form, but I'm just going to tell you what I've done. And I am at a loss in a number of things at the moment. Now, not everything. I bought a lot of stuff, uh, you know, like about a year ago that's doing quite well. But I've invested money since then and I've got a number of things that are down. So we'll have a look at that very shortly. So no news stories at the moment. It's generally pretty slow on a Sunday. But let's move on. All right, Bitcoin dominance again starting to rise. So getting up to sort of 43%. And look, you know, it's probably going to get back to around sort of 50 something percent uh, at the moment. And really until Bitcoin gets on a bit of a run, altcoins are just going to get hammered. If Bitcoin is really volatile, both to the upside and the downside, Altcoins just, you know, generally get smashed. Once Bitcoin levels out and stays pretty solid, that's when the altcoins start to do really well. And particularly if Bitcoin gets on a run, it'll drag everything else up as well. So the funny thing is, outside of stable coins, Bitcoin, it's the most stable cryptocurrency that there is. And that's really hard for people to believe, particularly when it's gone from 64,000 down to, you know, 30,000 and back up to 39,000 and all over the place. Bitcoin is your safest bet. And again, not financial advice, just personal opinion. It's where you should have, you know, um, I would say a majority. Now, that doesn't mean you have to have over 50 percent, but your largest holding in my mind, in my personal opinion, should be in Bitcoin followed by Ethereum, thereabouts. You know, if you're a bit more of a, an Ethereum bug, then, you know, have a little bit more in Ethereum. But look, really, between these two, that's where I, I personally have the bulk of my uh, crypto in these two. And I have more Ethereum now simply because it rose more. Uh, initially, I definitely put a lot more into Bitcoin. So that's me. Now, what I find very interesting is Gwei 8. Good Lord, I think this was 7 when I was looking at it earlier. Yeah, haven't seen this in a long time. Now, again, this is happening because there's so much uncertainty in the market. People are just panicking. And so, you know, the prices continue to go down, uh, you know, overall, still holding above that 1.5 trillion. I mean, this was 1.5, I think, 9, 8 trillion the other day. So we have jumped up a couple of hundred billion dollars already. Now, that doesn't mean that we don't turn around tomorrow and dump by even more than that we've gone up. So, yeah, just be careful. But GUI prices, if you want to do anything on Ethereum at the moment, now is the time. All right, let's have a quick look. What's done well in the last 24 hours? All right, Theta Fuel. Theta is just on an absolute uh, skyrocket at the moment because it's got its main launch uh, coming up very, very soon now. Again, I think this is going to be by the rumor, sell the news. So just be careful. But also, maybe it's just straight up recovery time for the entire market in general. So Theta also up 11%. Leo token, Aave, nice uh, pullback. Thorchain, the graph, nice, very nice. Uh, Quant, look, you know, one really big sort of double digit move, that's Theta Fuel. And then a couple of other ones that are doing pretty well as well, you know. Leo token nearly 15% and then, you know, 10% plus. And look, again, as I say, 
any gains a good gain, don't get me wrong, but it's those 15 plus percent gains in 24 hours. And again, anything above that is really good. And look, in the last seven days, Theta, Theta Fuel's been doing well. Theta Network itself just kind of ranging sideways. And we can see Quant uh, is doing all right as well. So there's definitely gains to be made. It's just overall things aren't looking too pretty. All right, so we've seen the gains. What about the losses though? Has anything been really hit hard? And again, this is looking at the top 100. These are your safest bets. Now be careful of the things further back, you know, outside the top 50, but definitely inside the top 50. Uh, you know, most of those projects are pretty good, at least in the short term. You know, the long term, that's a different story. All right, so anything not done well? No, basically everything's up. It's just the stable coins that are down at the moment, and that's because they're being spent. People are obviously buying up stuff, uh, you know, theta fuel by the looks of it. All right, so few gains there, again, 6.8%, and, you know, losses very, very minimal in the top 100. All right, let's go to the Bitcoin chart. All right, so as we can see, Again, Bitcoin, it just keeps dropping outside of this upwards channel that we've been in for quite some time. But then as soon as it does, it jumps straight back up. So like I said, I'm not going to be surprised if we keep traveling sideways. And particularly if we just keep sort of staying within this range and going up here. Now, look, I don't want to get you confused and make you think that means we can't go to the downside. We've got to be prepared. And look, again, this is the line that I'm looking for. I've said this before, uh, this is the line really, if we break below sort of that $28,000 mark, uh, I would be concerned. And really, if we do, I think there's every chance, you know, we might find some support around this kind of $24,000 mark maybe, but you know, likely that we start to come back down and sort of retest here. I wouldn't imagine we would stay down there for too long. Uh, I think we'd have a V-shaped recovery, but look, they're just things that we have to consider. But for me, I really think we're just gonna do a lot of sideways action for a while and look, again, it's really this kind of 40, really here, it's the $42,000 mark. I wouldn't be surprised if we just keep chopping and again, sometimes we have some crashes, come back down to 34,000, then we jump back up in. It just feels like a whole lot of market manipulation at the moment. But I am prepared if we go lower and we're gonna get into what uh, is going to happen if we go lower. So this was a little while ago, so oh, what are we now? So 4th of June, I'm gonna say probably somewhere back around about here. Let me have a look, I'll tell you exactly. All right. So what date was that? We're going back to even May with some of these. Oh God, so that's probably not a good one. Let's have a look. This one will give me a good. Yeah, May 25th. All right, there we go. May 25th, uh, I thought was going to be a pretty good time to buy. So where is that? May 20, sort of 5th, around about sort of here. Let's say, there we go, here. This is where I deployed. Uh, you know, most of my cash that I had sitting on the side. And again, I started to buy up some Bitcoin, I started to buy up some Ethereum, some Chainlink, and then I also jumped into a whole stack of altcoins that I'd missed out on that I really, really liked. And we're gonna have a look at those and uh, how I'm sort of faring at the moment and where, you know, yeah, how I'm performing at least and what my thought process is. So number one, let's have a look at Alpha Finance. Alpha Finance got a pretty good review on token metrics. And now I do use token metrics, so you can go down below uh, and there's a link down there. They got some really, really good info on there. It's not the be all and end all, just remember that. But generally, I don't mind it. So Alpha Finance. All right, let's have a look. Where are we? All right. I bought Alpha Finance at 93 cents. It's currently 60 cents. Now, Alpha Finance, I think they've got a pretty good uh, team behind them and all the rest of it. Now, again, I haven't done a whole lot of research on them later. I just remember sort of hearing about them and doing some research on them a while ago, and I thought, oh, that's a pretty good project. I wish I had got into it, but it was already in a big pump. So as soon as I seen that it dumped, I was like, yeah, I'm getting in on this. So let's have a look. All right, where are we going to go? Let's go the last 30 days. All right, so again, May 25th. This is around about where I am here. And I'm gonna say it was more like up here. Yep, again, 90 something cents. And then we can see it's just kind of, you know, it really is kind of leveled off though. It, it, it's 
feels like it's forming a basing pattern at the moment. It's no more steep corrections. So did I get in at the best price? No. Am I concerned? No. I'm literally down. I think it's about 40% uh, at the moment. Let me have a look. I'll go back and check. So 35% I'm down on alpha. 35%. I really like the project. I'm not panic selling at all. I'm actually considering maybe buying more, but I just need to see what Bitcoin's going to do further. Because again, these altcoins continue to go lower, but they the volatility in them is really gone. This is where it really hurt, you know, where people were getting in here, you know, $2 something, and then they watched it drop all the way down to, you know, 56 cents. That really, really hurt. But that basically means you're a 4x if it gets back to its old all-time highs, thereabouts, I mean, not quite. Uh, it's, you know, well, actually it would be thereabouts. Six falls 24, not too far off. Uh, and again, five uh, into two. So you're basically, if you were lucky to get it at 56 cents, you're basically going to 4X your money if, and it's still an if, if it can get back to its old all-time highs. So for me, I'm not selling because this is really just, this feels like accumulation. Now, could it go lower, particularly if Bitcoin dumps off? Absolutely. But again, I bought it at 90 cents and its all-time high was, there you go, $2.93. So it's even more, the, the old all-time high was a little bit further back. So it's more than a 4X if you're lucky to buy it from there. And again, I got it at 90 cents, so I figure I'm going to roughly triple my money on Alpha Finance if it gets back to its old all-time highs. So again, am I panic selling? No. Now you need to make your own mind up. Have you done the research into what you're invested in? So we're looking at, you know, specifically for, you know, whoever's watching my video right now. You got in, you know, like, you know, let's say sort of early May, which was around about the peak, and you've just been absolutely brutally hammered. Do you believe in what you've invested in? Or were you just here to make some quick money? If you were here to make quick money, welcome to crypto. That's what happens. That's what happens to most people. They get absolutely crushed here. Unless they get in at a really good time, and unfortunately, most of the time they don't. They get in at the worst time, which is again when things are ab at its absolute peak, like, you know, start of May. And now you've probably lost, depending on what you've invested in, really, you might be down 90%. You can cut your losses. But if you've done your research, you believe in the uh, fundamentals and the team behind it and all the rest of it. Uh, and again, like Bitcoin, I mean, let's say you invested in Bitcoin and you were unlucky and bought it at $60,000 and now it's down around about $40,000. Do you believe in Bitcoin? Do you, uh, was it something you were going to hold long term? Have you understood the cycles and how it works that yes, it drops significantly at times, but no one has lost money in Bitcoin if they've held it for four years. If they've held for four years, they are well in profit. I'm going to say that again, they are well in profit. So you might, you so you, sorry, you might have to hold four years for Bitcoin, we can't talk about the other cryptos so much, to make your money back, but then if you simply hold, you're probably gonna be well in profit. I don't think this bull market is over. I think we have you know, seen the worst of the sell-off at the moment, could be wrong, so again, not financial advice. But I fundamentally believe in crypto long term, period. And the projects that I've invested in, I generally believe in them long term as well. Well, not generally, uh, you know, how long a term we're having, we're going to have to, you know, decide because, you know, Alpha Finance hasn't been around for very long. So I still believe in the team. I believe in what they're doing. But, you know, we'll wait and see whether they, you know, can make it long term. But I think... The bull run is far from over. I think this is going to go well above $2.93 uh, at some stage. And so I'm going to make good profit. And look, in all fairness, I'm going to sell probably half of my alpha finance. Half of everything except for Bitcoin and Ethereum. Bitcoin, I will sell a very small amount, like maybe sort of 10% uh, here and there. And again, then I'll be looking to buy back in at lower prices. If I get it right, if I don't, then it doesn't matter. I've still got cash on the side to just buy other things. And Ethereum, I might sell 25% uh, of my Ethereum. Maybe more, could go 50%, but I think that's unlikely. I might sell 25% of my Ethereum. But all my other altcoins, and I literally mean that, all of them, I will sell near 50% of them. Because you know they just haven't been around long enough to demonstrate to me that they're gonna be here long term. 
Now, some other coins, Synthetics Network, they've been around through a bear market. I like them. Uh, I believe in them long term. Still sell 50%. Uh, Chainlink, much the same as Synthetics Network. Aave, much the same as those. They are my favorite sort of coins, and I literally believe in them long term. I think they're going to be here for a long time. I'll still sell half of those because I just need to see more time from them but I fundamentally really like those projects. So again, Alpha Finance, I'm down 35%. I'm not selling. I don't think this bull run is done. I think it's still got massive upside. So again, I bought it at 90 cents. I think it's gonna go well over $2.90. So you can just round that up to $3. I think I'm gonna, you know, again, more than triple my money on that. And again, when I sell half of it, then I'm still going to have that moon bag left over and I'll have made uh, some good coin. All right, so another one, Audius. Got a really, really good score on token metrics. So if you're picking up a theme, yes, I like token metrics. And again, the link is going to be down below. You can join up for token metrics. Really like their site. They have some really good uh, information about you know early projects and uh, value investing and things like that. So go and check that out. Now, Audius. All right, let's have a look. This one has been really brutal. All right, uh, what did I buy this at? All right, where are we? I am down 40% on Audius. So I bought Audius at $1.16. It's now $1.05. So that has really, really hurt. But again, I like what they're doing, uh, disrupting the music industry and trying to make sure that, uh, you know, people in the music industry get more money and it doesn't simply go to all the... You know, all the labels and things like that, they make the most amount of money. Really, I think the person who makes the most amount of money should be the artist. And then, you know, those companies who are basically riding off the back of them, you know, I'm not saying they shouldn't get any money, but really the artists are the, you know, they're the creators. They should make the most of the money. So I really like Audius. Uh, I like the team that's behind them. I like what they're doing. It got a really, really good score on token metrics. So that's why I invested. Now, again, it's all-time high was $4.95. Oh my God. I bought it at $1.16. I bought some at $1.91, sorry. So that's still basically two and a half X my money and then nearly four, five X my money uh, on the stuff that I bought for $1.19. So I haven't sold any. I'm actually most likely gonna buy some more at some stage. Again, I need to see the market uh, sort itself out. I don't really ever sell for losses. I'm not saying I've never done it. I have. I told everyone about the XRP and I'm kicking myself. I wish I hadn't have done that. Uh, hard protocol. I did sell that at a loss. Uh, it just really was underperforming and I wasn't hearing anything good about it. But I haven't put my life's you know, money into any one of these. I've put what I can afford, generally about 1%, sometimes maybe 2%, but you know, hardly ever 2% of sort of, you know, what I've got in crypto, I've put into some of these. So again, for Audius, really like it, I'm not selling, and all I think is the upside. Yes, I bought some of it for $2, well, $1.91, how many $1.91s go into, and again, let's just round this up to basically $5, and we can round my $1.91 up under $2, that's a two and a half X. I've now bought some at $1.16. Again, let's you know sort of round it off. That's basically almost a five X of my money should it go back to its all time highs. And if it doesn't and it goes to zero, I haven't lost everything, but I like Audius. I fundamentally believe it's a really, really good project. So I'm gonna let it ride and wait and see. Super Farm, so LEO Trades uh, NFT play. So again, I'm down 30%. I bought that for, I bought some at a dollar and I bought some at 80 cents. So again, I've continued to average into it even when it's going down. It's now 62 cents. I like uh, Elio Trades, uh, really good dude. Love his channel, watch it all the time. He's got heaps of good information and I think he knows a lot about the space and he's really big on NFTs. $4.74, I bought it at a dollar so again we could almost round that up and say it's a 5x for me and i bought some at 80 cents so that's basically now we're getting into six seven x uh my money uh should this go back to its old all-time highs so again i like super farm i'm not selling uh at the moment i believe it's going to go much higher than what it did 
And then when it does go to that, absolutely, I'll look to sell half of it. And again, it's not because I don't believe in the project. Project, It's because I simply need to get you know my investment back. But again, I haven't put that much. And if I do lose my investment in this, I don't think I will. So be it, you know, I, I, I will survive. But again, if you're not picking up on a theme, the theme is for me, and I'm not telling you what to do, you need to make your own decisions. I don't sell for losses. Well, I rarely ever sell for losses. And even though these things are dipping hard at the moment, they are so far off their old, old all-time highs, they just seem like really, really good buys. Now look, not all of them have done bad. Chilies. Right, again, this is one where I'm actually up 16% at the moment. So Chili's, what did I buy for? All right, I got into Chili's at 25 cents. It's up 29 cents. Uh, it's up to 29 cents. It's all-time high was, again, let's round that up to 90 cents. So for me, buying at 25 cents, it's a 3x to its old all-time high. Again, I really like Chili's and what they're doing. The UFC and got in, I've got involved with them for NFTs and all the rest of it. So again, I was looking at Chili's a while ago going, that seems like a really good project, but it had just pumped so hard. So as soon as this big correction came, I got in. Now I'm lucky I'm up a little bit, but that doesn't mean Chili's can't turn around and uh, go down even further and I lose money. I like Chili's. I like what they're doing. I wanted more exposure to the NFT space. So I bought Chili's not selling and even now that i'm a little bit in profit if i think the market's going down heaps lower i haven't bet my you know entire life on this but i like it so i'm simply holding voyager token is another one again this did really well i was looking at buying it when it was about 30 cents uh rob over on digital assets uh news you know was talking about it and i wish i had got into it uh but i didn't so anyway uh it is up 1.8 percent so i haven't really made too much from it I bought it at $2.54 and it's at $2.62. I really like what they're doing and being a brokerage service and you know things like that. Uh, I like the team, I, you know, I, I like what they're doing with their platform. So again, I'm happy to invest in it. And again, I haven't bet you know my entire life savings on it, but I think this will continue to do well. And again, so I bought it at, uh, what do we say? I think it was $2.54. This is US, I'm talking in US uh, terms. It's all-time high was, you know, let's round it off, $12.50. Again, that is basically a 4x to its old all-time high. Again, ladies and gentlemen, when you see these big dips, these are the times where, for me, I can't tell you what to do. I like to jump in because I think we're still in a bull market. I don't think we're even remotely close to a bear market just yet. Are we in a bearish trend? Yes, absolutely. Could these continue to go lower? Absolutely, but I think there's still so much more upside. So again, I am expecting, and again, I am expecting, but I could be wrong, to at least 4x my money on this. And I think it'll go higher again. Let's say this makes it to $20, and I bought it at $2.50, and then I sell half of it. I mean, I don't have the calculator in front of me to have a look at it, but that's going to be huge gains, and I'll still have half my tokens left in case it goes higher and again if it goes into a bear market i will have made all my money back and some it doesn't matter what happens to the token after that i have made my profits and i will wait and see if this again lasts and buy back in you know next time or buy other projects whatever it may be now another one that uh has you know kind of look it's hurt a little bit but it's not doing too bad at the moment terra luna all right, I bought Terra Luna at $6.72. So I'm down a little bit, not too much. Look what its old all-time high was. Again, nearly $23. That is a nearly, not quite, it's more a three and a bit than a four. So let's say three and a bit X to its old all-time high. I like what Terra Luna is doing. Uh, I like the team. Again, they got a pretty good score uh, on to token metrics and things like that. So again, I remember hearing about them and then it was just pumping so hard and I was like, oh God, I've missed it. Uh, I really want to get into it because I mean, look at that. It's a 27X up from its all-time high uh, a year ago. Now again, no guarantees in life. We could be in a bear market and it could go down, 
but I don't believe we are. I haven't bet my entire you know, life savings into it. But if I'm correct, and this goes to its old all-time high and some again, I'm looking at at least 3xing my money. Now, that is why, you know, I say, you know, do some research. Don't just randomly pick crazy, you know, excuse the language, but shit out there that you're unsure of, you know, anything about it. It's just simply hype because there's a lot of hype stuff out there that is, you know, nothing more than hype. And look, Dogecoin is a little bit like that. And again, I'm not saying Dogecoin can't do something crazy and become a legit project. It, it could be, you know, the self-fulfilling prophecy may come true. But, you know, just be careful about putting your life savings into things like that. And, you know, again, if there's nothing behind it, then it's really going to get hit hard. And look, I hope for everyone who got invo involved in Dogecoin, they do really well. Uh, and I've said this before, I got into Dogecoin twice very early and I doubled my money both times. I'm kicking myself that I didn't hold because this was... Both of these times it was when uh, Dogecoin was, I think, less than a cent the first time and possibly even the second time. But if the second time wasn't less than a cent, it was when it was less than two cents. And it's currently trading. God, where is it right now? Let's go and have a look. I think it's 30-something cents. 32 cents and I was buying it under a cent. I could have 30x'd my money and well under a cent the first time. I think it was less than a tenth of a cent. So, yeah, kicking myself. But again... It's really hard at these times and I fundamentally understand how you're feeling. If you're bored at the peak and you're panicking and all you want to do is panic sell, I can't tell you what to do. And if you feel that's the right decision for you, then so be it. But if you came to this space, not simply to just double your money overnight, which unfortunately a lot of people do, and you fundamentally believe in cryptocurrencies and what you're invested in, for me, I'm holding, I'm not selling. I think Bitcoin is going to go to astronomic levels over the next 10 years. So even if you had bought at 54,000 or 64,000 or whatever, you know, for me, I would hold. Ethereum, I think, is really, really good. And once ETH 2.0 comes out, provided there is no major hiccups, I think it's going to go to unbelievable prices again in the next five to 10 years. And that's what I'm looking at. I'm not looking in the short term, oh, you know, can I double my money, you know, in the next month? If I do, awesome, congratulations. If I don't, then I don't care. Bitcoin, I bought some at 39,000. So I'm sitting sort of even, maybe even at a slight loss. It might have been 30, 39,400, not that long ago. I bought some at 34, and I think I just squeezed in some at 31, 32,000 as well. So some of my Bitcoin you know, is up and some of it might be at a loss. Uh, Ethereum, uh, I'm lucky. Chainlink, uh, I'm at a loss. I bought some Chainlink. Now, not overall, I bought Chainlink uh, under a dollar, you know, quite some time ago. So it's done pretty well. Oh, actually, not under a dollar. I think it was uh, two or three dollars. Anyway, I bought some Chainlink at $24 uh, not that long ago. So I'm at a loss. Am I panicking? Am I selling? No, I think Chainlink's going to be around for a really, really long time. So, all right, bit of a long video. And look, I've shown you coins. I am heavy in a loss, 40, 50%. I'm not selling. I will literally hold on to them for four years if I have to. I'm not going to you know, put too much more money into them at the moment unless I see a change. But I will hold on to those for four years and wait and see what happens if it takes another four years. Because I believe in the projects. Again, that doesn't mean that they are going to be around in four years. But I've done my research. I like the teams. I like you know what they're all about. They're disruptive. So I can hold for four years. And I might see that 40% loss that I'm at now turn into another 90 sort of, you know, oh, not another 90. You can't go 90 on top of 40. But it might turn into a 90-something percent loss before it starts to get better. I'm an investor. I hold, I do my research. And yeah, that's what's worked for me. All right, <sighs> bit of a long one. And again, it is really hard, but remember we're up 7.7% .7 today, but just beware that we could go lower. If you literally are here for the right reasons, I think you're gonna do extremely well over the long term. That's not financial advice. If you've just randomly jumped into stuff to try and get onto the pumps, then you're probably gonna get wrecked. All right, that's it from me. Stay safe, be kind to one another.
you know, everyone should be on that gain train a little bit. It doesn't mean you're in profit in total, but, you know, <laughs> at least a gain over the last 24 hours. And I'll see you next time.